carefully. The book is No Don't Touch Me There. It's a book by Pastor Noamed Odukoya, which is taught, uh, the book talks about the evil of um, uh, child abuse and a good uh, way to, to educate the children about sex education. I hope the children who participate today will learn one thing or the other. I thank the Oko State Governor, led by uh, the Oko State Governor, Senator Ibukuri Amosu, for agreeing to be the host of Born Again. I thank the Deputy Governor for taking time to be here today. And I hope that at the end of the day, we're going to have a very good event. Thank you so much. This book is a tool to help parents and teachers talk to children about their bodies and the importance of bodies. It tells them what to do when something uncomfortable happens. Hello, I am Adi, and this is my friend Ada. Today in school, we learned about our bodies. It was so much fun. God made me a boy and Ada a girl, so we are different. God made my thighs. God made my toes. God gave us private parts that are different, which only we use. My part, my private part is here. That's for the boy. I'm sure we are seeing the book, right? For the girls. Are you there? You have two private parts, where and where? Hair and hair. No one should touch them apart from me. Are the girls there? Yes. If someone touches your private, you have to hear. Shout, no, don't do that. Then go and tell. Tell your mom or your dad or even your teacher because no one is allowed to touch your private parts. No looking, no touching. Miss Fadiza also said, not to look at anyone else's private parts. If someone you love gives you a hug, that is a good touch and that is okay. My mom gives me hugs and that is fine. But if someone touches your private parts, that is a bad touch. Tell them, no, don't touch me then. Do you understand that? We learn not to keep secrets from our parents. If someone says, don't tell your mom or your dad, don't listen to them. You need to tell your parents everything so they can keep you safe. Do you understand? Do you understand? Children, are you listening? Do you want to know what else we learned? If anyone offers you a gift, don't take it. Tell them, no, thank you. I have, I have to ask mom or dad first. Then go and tell them, quick, quick, quick. Miss Fadiza also told us to be careful about strangers. Don't talk to people you don't know. That could mean danger. Sorry. Children, are you hearing me? Yes. Okay. If a stranger tries to talk to you, do you know what to say? Do you know what to say, children? You say, no, leave me alone. And then you run away. Now, I think it will be a good fact to practice how to say no. Clear your truth, <clears throat> just like this. <clears throat> Put 
your head back and open your mouth wide and shout. Open your mouth what? Wide. Like, you don't say, No! As loud as you can. You do, you do what? No! Shout, No! Who remembers what we learned today? What did we learn? Oh, yes, boy. Learn that don't keep secrets from your parents. Yes, don't keep secrets from your parents. Remember that don't text and don't text anything from someone that is can cause dangers. Uh -huh. Don't take anything from strangers. Is that oh, oh okay? People have been listening. Oh. Nice one. We learned that we should not talk to strangers. Good girl. We learned that someone should not touch our private parts. Good. Good. Come back, come back. What do you say when they touch? What do you say when they touch? Go back to the mic. What do you say, do you say when they touch? We should say no. Good girl. Did we understand? Oh, that's If all. someone in love will give you a hug. <laughs> I do have two private parts. Why? I do have one private part. Oh, nice. <laughs> if someone stays tight, call you. Do not answer. And do not take anything from strangers. <laughs> No one to look at your private part or toys. And you should always obey your parents. Oh, yes. Oh. People have been listening. <laughs> you should never allow anyone to touch or look at your private part, whether you are a male or female. Oh, oh yes. Let's put your hands together. Yeah, yeah, you have really done well. And Obu State is proud of you. Am I right, Excellency? Yes. Thank you very much. Put your hands together for him. For the courage to come and ask the question. What if the person is our family member? Should we allow them to look or touch our private parts? Somebody has just asked a question. He said, suppose that person is a family member. Will you allow the person to talk to you? The answer is no. Did you hear that? The answer is no. Because there are times you have your cousins, your uncles, even house helps living with you. And some of them, when your mom or your parents have gone to work, they are there to take care of you. In the morning, they may want to help you to have your bath. And they won't want to touch that part. You will say, no, don't touch that part. If you are a male, if you are a boy. And if you are a girl, the same thing. Girls, remember you have two private parts. You are not allowed, you should not allow anybody to touch your private parts. No. So, you continue to say what? No. Children, you continue to say what? No. Children, any other question? Oh yeah, come on, so come on, come on, ask your question. Your name and your question. Who is Adibayo's name? I want to add that if someone friend or mommy touch our private parts, can we allow to touch our private parts? Yes or no? No. No. Please clap for him. He knows the answer. Any other question? 
Thank you very much. Put your hands together for yourself. And again, put your hands together for all our celebs on the high table here. So right now, we're going to be listening to Our Excellency's address. The Chief Mrs. Yetunde Onanoga as she speaks to us on this occasion. Thank you very much, ma'am. Please take your seat. Let me first of all congratulate the Executive Director of BON Awards, Mr. Shemo Lopetri, for this inspiration and for this well-packaged arrangement that we have today in preparation for the BON Awards. I welcome you on behalf of His Excellency, Senator Ibukule Amosu, CON, the Governor of the State. I may also welcome all the actors and actresses that are on the high table and then most especially my, my friend and our friend Mr. Femi Branch. I welcome you. Let me also welcome all our pupils that are here today. Our parents, all invited guests, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon, children. At the same time, let me acknowledge and commend the organizers for your job well done. At this time, it is not easy to bring children together, especially because of the uh, festive period and because they are still on holidays. But I thank God for the number of children that I can see here this afternoon. Children, I want to thank you for being part of this program. I also want to congratulate you because you can see that not all the children in Ogo State are here now, but they have selected just a few of you and it is an opportunity for you, which has to stick in your brain. You continue to remember today what we have read to you and what you are asked not to do or what nobody should do to you. So I want to thank you. I want to thank God on your behalf for bringing me you to this place today. Advice. We have read to you. You can see the celebrities on the high table who have read this book, which says, No, don't touch me there to you. And when you, all the pages that were read to you by different people, you will know that, yes, it is very important for me to be here. You will know that as a mother, and as a deputy governor, I have been, I just have to be amongst you today to celebrate with you. Write this book saying no, don't touch me then. And we have also heard from you books that that the Ada has two private parts. Why Ada has how many children? Ada has two private parts. And Ade has how many? One. One. You should not allow anybody to touch your private part, except your mom or your dad. If anybody wants to touch your private part, you say what? No. You say what? No. When you are in the classroom, if your teacher calls you to come and do something, you must not touch your private part. Immediately you say what? No. And you must not touch each other's private parts. Do you understand that? And we have also, we have also learned that you should keep secrets. You should not keep secrets. Anything you have, maybe somebody has touched your private parts while you are in school or somewhere else. Immediately you get home, tell your mom. Mom, Something happened to me today. 
this person did this and did this. And your mom immediately will take action on it. Don't forget that. And you should always, somebody said you should always be obedient. That is another one, you should be obedient. Though you don't have it here, yeah, but you know that children should always be obedient. This part of obedience that you tell your parents what has gone wrong with you. I want to admonish our parents that are here this afternoon that you should please watch the type of housekeepers you put at home uh, to take care of your children. Make sure there are those that are that will not do bad things to your children. They will not be touching their private parts when they when you go out. Or when you ask them to help you to bath them, they will not touch their private parts. Please want them and be at a lot all the time. I also want to tell you children that reading habits is a good thing. You are our future leaders. Aren't you? I was born like you. I started growing up. I went to school. I went to primary school. I went to secondary school. You will also go to secondary school from here. You go to higher institution, university. And if you want to further, you go on, become a, you, you, you may become a PhD holder. You may become a professor. Going on reading up, and you may go to deep, you know, take different professions. But one thing is that you have to make up your mind from now to start to cultivate the habit of doing what reading. Reading is very educative. When you read a book like the one we just read today, it says, no, don't touch me, don't touch them. That means that you will have you will have learned so many things from this one book, from just one book today. And that is how it is. So you should, learn, and you should always ask your parents that they should buy story books that are educating to you. This is the time that you have to do that. How many of you have been reading different story books here? your money, pocket money. Once a visitor comes to your house and gives you some money, keep that money. Don't use it to buy biscuits or sweets. Keep it and you can use it to develop yourself by buying a story book for yourself. When I was young, my parents were teachers. They have taught me that it is good to read books. And then and they also taught us that we should not spend our money carelessly. So we keep our money in what we call, uh, what do we call it? Polo. You know what polo is? Yes, I have it. You have it? That's good. So, and we have developed that. I developed myself that every three months, whatever is in my polo, I will bring it out and use it to buy. money bags. When it is uh, maybe six months or three months, depending on how much you feel will be in that money bag. If the money is not enough, I'm very sure your parents will be willing to add more to it to buy more books. So take that book and tell your parents that you want to be reading more educative story books and there are so many of them around. On this note, I don't want to bore you. I just want you to continue to be good children, continue to be obedient to your parents, to your elders, and to your teachers that are teaching you in school. And before you know it, you will become one of you
you here will become a governor or something in your state. Yeah. One of you will become a deputy governor in your state. And I know amongst you here, there are lawyers, there are doctors, there are engineers, there are accountants here now. You can also become a teacher because teachers are the ones training our leaders. So without our teachers, can be we are we are. So we want to so let us all clap for teachers too. Thank you very much. On this note, children, I am very happy to be your guests to that today. And anytime the BON awards group calls me again, I'll be willing to be with them. So I thank you and God bless all of you. A better round of applause for the Deputy Governor of the State, Our Excellency, Chief Mrs. Yetunde Ononuga, for that wonderful address. Children, what is the title of this book? No, don't touch me there. No, don't touch me there. If you want, can you tell us what you have learned or what you have been able to impact to the children today? Yeah, um, the, the lesson, um, which is about um, sex education, is um, a very important one. To, to, be, to be honest with you, I never had this at this stage when I was growing up. Though I was lucky, I was never abused. But I, I am very sure that if I was abused then, I wouldn't know what to do. But with this kind of um, um, I hope now, I, I want to believe it is, it is very essential to the curriculum. And all schools should have this in, have this in their programs so that children can be aware of what to do to protect their psyche, their, their boldness, and their, their sensitivity. Because if that aspect of them is being abused or taken away from them, it will in turn affect them becoming a good leader tomorrow. So it's a good initiative that Best of Nollywood has really put this up and I must commend the, the organizers and management of Best of Nollywood as well as the state of Ogun, uh, state of Ogun the governor for aligning with this kind of initiative. It is, it is, a, it is applaudable. My name is Dine Omufa Mere from South Africa. I think it's a great initiative. Um, it's about time that Africa starts teaching our kids what exactly is happening out there. Um, it's always something that happens, but we keep it inside. But we immediately we teach our kids from this level at the primary level, then we know that they are about to play safe. So it is a great initiative. I, I salute the Bonner Awards for this. Oh, well, we taught them about saying no uh, to being touched at their private parts. We taught them about their private parts, like girls and boys. And this is something that has to happen even at home. You teach your kids about their private parts, that somebody is not supposed to touch them, that they are not supposed to be entertaining strangers because these strangers come to the kids and they do whatever they, they want to do, which is wrong. So that's exactly what they learned and parents should start teaching their kids about that. Well, I think it's a very uh, fantastic initiative by the Best of Nollywood Awards. Um, I, I am a very uh, uh, staunch believer in reading and in the reading culture and um, the fact that uh, we get a chance to impart that uh, um, knowledge to children or uh, that information rather that they need to like get interested in reading, I think that's good. Then the fact that the material that we chose or that was chosen for the reading has to do with um, uh, sex education and you understand, I, I think that's very, very important right now. Because as Africans, we are really, very shy when it comes to sex education, talking to children about sex, about parts of their body, and this is what puts a lot of children in trouble, you know? So we do not want our children to end up being victims, and that is why I was so excited about coming here and doing this with Bon. Okay, so what do you want to say to Bon? Yeah, well done, well done. Fantastic initiative, um, lovely theme and everything. Now, of course, we're looking forward to the awards in December, that's the thing. Okay, it's an honor to meet you and speak with you as well. Uh, this is the Deputy Governor of Ogun State. Mrs. Yetunde oh, no. Onuga. Onuga. Okay, ma'am, what can you tell us about the whole event happening here today? How do you feel about it? Yes, I'm very excited about this um, Best of Nollywood Celebrity Award. 
actually the award is will be holding in our Ogun State in December 2017 and this is just a pre-event um, activity that we held today. It's exciting reading to the children. You know, these are children that's in the ages of in age bracket of um, 4 to 11 and then they are still in their formative age or on ages and it is exciting really to them and whatever they have had and we have read to them today we stick to their brain they will never forget we they have had a lot today about nobody should touch their private parts whether you are a girl or you are a boy and this means that this will stick to them whenever somebody wants to touch that that, that part that they we said they, sh they should not touch they will make sure they say no to it it's been i want to commend the best of nollywood awards uh, uh, organizers for doing this and bringing it to Ogun state it is a very inspiring mm. so just a few words tell parents and the children and what you think they should learn from this reading yes i want to first of all tell the children that what we have learned that they should say no you should not touch this part they should, so they should not uh, make they should make sure that these children uh, nobody should touch their private parts and to our parents at home i just want to admonish them that they should watch those they keep their children with whether their house helps whether their aunties or whoever who take care of them they should ensure that they, uh, they educate them very well not to be touching these children's private parts. They are future leaders. They are, children, they are those that we look on to in the future. And once they defile them, you know, they have spoiled their future for them. My name is Dinea Omofa Mary, all the way from South Africa. Keep watching Broadway TV. So what's up guys, my name is Femi Branch and I'm asking you to keep watching Broadway TV. Because you know that's where all the hot stuff is, right? Peace.